in the circuit of figure 2 below, all resistances are given in ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, 10 ohms and 5 ohms. The switches M and Q, in this one and this one, have been closed and N has been open for a very long time. That means the circuit is in steady state. Because sources are DC, this one and that one, the circuit is in DC steady state. We take a snapshot of the circuit at t equals 0 minus. Snapshot at t equals 0 minus. Because the circuit is in DC steady state, the capacitor can be represented by an open circuit like so and the inductor by a short circuit like this one. Now, we want to find what is that current in the inductor at t equals 0. This current at 0 minus 0 plus, it's the same value. We know that. These four amps find a current divider between 5 ohms over here and the parallel of 10 and 10, which is another 5 ohms. So, 2 amps will take this road and then other 2 amps will continue towards the right of the circuit. Those two amps find another current divider between 10 ohms and 10 ohms, and this current is, of course, 1 amp, which is the current we're looking for, the current in the inductor at t equals 0. There is another initial condition that we take from this circuit, this one, which is no other than the initial voltage in the capacitor, 6 volts in this case. And that finishes part A. For part B, find the initial value of the time rate of change of the inductor current right after the switches move. That is a t equals zero plus. It's time for another snapshot. This time a t equals zero plus. This is the snapshot of the circuit at zero plus. Let's see. The capacitor is represented by a stubborn V source with a value, its initial voltage, 6 volts. The inductor is represented by a current source with its initial current, 1 amp. What we need to find here is the voltage in the inductor, this one, VL. Why? Because if we divide that voltage by the inductance, we obtain DIDT at the inductor at 0 plus, which is what this question is asking us to find. Hmm, how do we find that voltage? In several different ways. But what I will do is to write a KVL equation like this. In this loop, I know all the voltages minus this one. You say, let's see, 6 volts, fine. What is the voltage in this resistor here? Hmm, the current in the resistor is 1 amp flowing from left to right. So the polarity of the voltage is like that, and that voltage will be 10 times 1, 10 volts as well, 10 volts in the resistor. So we write a KVL equation starting here. For instance, going on by 6, going down by 10, going down by VL, that is equal to 0. Going on by 6, going down by 10, going down by VL, that is equal to 0. And VL happens to be negative 4 volts. What we're looking for is the current rate of change at 0 plus, And that is negative 4 divided by by the inductance, 4 Henry's, that is negative 1 amps per second, and that is the answer to part B of this problem. The last part is to find the current in the inductor as a function of time after switches operate. Well, we represent the circuit for t greater than 0 in the p operator domain. This is that circuit for t greater than 0. 10 ohms, 10 ohms. The impedance of this inductor is 4p. The impedance of this capacitor is 1 over 3p. 
because this circuit has no sources and according to another video in this series we will utilize the services of a fake source in this case i choose to use a fake current source with a fake value f we need to find this current reference note one branch current one kcl equation kcl for node one currents going in f currents coming out of the node this one b1 divided by 1 over 3p like this one plus v1 over 10 like this one plus v1 divided by 10 plus 4p like so we need to solve for v1 that is the equation and we want to solve for v1 symbolic solver solve for v1 that is a differential equation in the p operator whose solution would be v1 divide that symbolic representation of v1 by the impedance of the branch of the inductor by this impedance and obtain the current in the inductor or rather the differential equation whose solution is the current in that inductor that voltage divided by the impedance divide simplify and that is the differential equation whose solution is the current in the inductor of course now that we have the equation we do not need the fake current source the fake current source is zero so this term is zero and the differential equation can be written like this but from this equation we obtain the eigenvalues that will tell us what is the shape of that current in that inductor how solve the characteristic equation yes i know the convention is to use b as an unknown for this equation but i like x anyway so let's solve that quadratic equation which is the characteristic equation of the differential one whose solution is the current in the inductor and the eigenvalues will be evidently the system is overdamped and the current il is the sum of two exponentials this is the sh form of that current why there is no k3 because this circuit with no real sources i mean real because this one is a fake source will have a steady state current of zero k3 is zero for this circuit we differentiate that evaluate both equations at t equals zero if this exponential becomes one this one becomes one as well and the same happens with this other two b1 and b2 are known we computed them down here and the value of the current il at t equals zero is known this is one amp and the i l d t at t equals zero is negative one so we have two equations and two unknowns k1 and k2 and we solve for them those two constants have these values in amps 0.6 amps and 0.39 amps we can write now the current in the inductor as a function of time for t greater than zero and that completes the solution of this exercise thank you very much